Good morning. So um, I'm going to channel a light language um, stream for you today. It's morning time, um, April 7th. I wasn't intending on doing a video, but this beautiful stream of light language is being channeled through me as I just sat down to open to receive my daily messages. And so I felt called to make this video. Um, it is, I try to do these videos um, when I feel inspired to and not force it. I've been wanting to get on here the past week, um, but it seems like today's the day. So when I bring through this um, stream of light language, uh, when I was bringing through it from before, it felt very informational. So this time, uh, when it comes through, allow your higher self to access the information. The higher self is a vehicle for light language. So as it is streamed through me, give yourself and your higher self permission to access the information beyond the, the perceptions of the conscious and, and the rational. So you're receiving the information in a multi-dimensional way that goes beyond reason and goes beyond conscious perception. You're giving yourself permission to allow the information to be received by you. And then, of course, if some translation translation comes through, I will you know, provide that. But always keep in mind with light language and receiving light language, the information is layered. It's, it's multi-dimensional. It's not factual. It's not linear. So what can be received by you can be go beyond my understanding, right? My, my limited perception of what I'm receiving through me. So allow that, okay? So let me connect to the light language that I was bringing in before. And then if translation comes through, we'll bring that through as well. Kiserik Ark. Mori kiare mare iara kotukuri yama pekoro oriente karar, a sukuriare karakata karyar ikuri ekiri at serik, mukuriam darar iru kutsurial, et a yama the ruthu oriath, a mariathu theatia muthu theriath, or thoria theria matha thalia, yala kukuriam dar, eriam dar ikukumotheath, or kunotheath ire sereth ech, or koriseath etherech ech. O foco theriam dar ar u corthiath, a reithe cam patar ciar. A reith ciar thu corthiath, a thu corthiath a pateath, o fush, a thath, a pacurcia pateath, a thorith, a thath, pacurithiath yam co thoth, a pargiath yar, u corthiath a thoth, a pargiath, bas, sacaria ath, bast, a the ciar theach, u thoriki a macarthath, be a cert. Ah, be a cert, ah, u curia theare ma cath, o set seth ach a cath, be a se a cath a cath, a kiath, a be kiath a cath eth, m, a cath eth a be kiath, a tha kiath o thoth a thath, best ach, best a cath, ma theach am ath, best a cath, a sh a cath, ma kiath ath a masha best a cath. So there is some information coming through, but first I want to stream some more. Etheath achath. Listen, find your own meaning in it. Thoch etheath, mechetheath abeth etheath achath. Thoth ath esh eth eth ach. Thoth ath esh eth eth eth. Ukuth imbath et asarth. Usukuriath beth ach e asarth. Dukuriamath ik ha is mat ikera ath. A set mat. Mmm. Ich ath a set mat. A beth best a hash. Mmm. Best a beth ath och of oath. Mmm. Da is a cut soariath. Ma he et. Ukuriant at. Ma e het. Ukuriant at. Busun surim banderiat and. They are passing information on to you. There is an Egyptian pantheon. There is gods that are coming through. I will talk about that in a minute, but now we're going to bring in some more energy and some more healing. Suryath ech et, suryath eth et, suryath ach, shoot suut sarim be de daran sat, su ha shit sa, dis aras, mut su rutso, shisha ha, 
suru ahad kirim ahar suru sutsu they are talking about the kundalini the spiral energy sutsu aha the grand serpent shukru ah ritsitsa aha and in this moment now imagine su aha a spiral sukru aha of a serpentine energy sakraha channels through your crown and encompasses your entire being su aha beyond the physical and mental perceptions of, of that that which you are trying to understand. And ground that energy. It is transformational. Now we're smoothing it out. And this more masculine energy came through to claim that transformation, the serpent, is transmutation. And so as you bring the serpentine energy through, as you bring it through, Okay, it's transmuting the energy within you that no longer serves you, any expired old emotions, beliefs, thoughts, perceptions. That's what the serpent does, okay? It's transformative. So as we allow it into our energy, you know, we step forward into our power. That is the masculine. And then it's softer now. We bring in the feminine to receive that. Okay. Sukutu aremikiat surint at papate rosush aset shush aset. So and now they're talking about conception. Shu aha, not a literal conception. Sutsu aha, but a conception of desire. Sukutu aha, ashishi a a sutsu re aha beyond constructs. Sutsu sutsu aha, as you sit on the throne of your own godhood and goddesshood, okay? So that's what this shukutsu ru'aha, the concept, or the main, if you would say, story of this channel is. Shu'aha, there's a lot of Egyptian energy coming through in the beginning. I felt some elven energy, some Syrian energy as well, elemental energy, but there is a very forward Egyptian energy that's calling forth these Egyptian gods and goddesses to call forth this clearing as we are stepping forward into our knowing of who we were and who we are. So there's a sort of like Akashic records, going through the records, sorting through and understanding who you are at this moment, looking at all your past lives, even if you're not consciously doing this, this is what's going on. And going forward, we're reading and understanding our own records. We are sources. We are the source. We are the channel. We are the creator. We don't go outside to do this. We are capable of doing this. You can read your own ka. They're saying to me, this is all new to me as well. You can read your own energy. You can look within and read the scriptures of what has been written upon you. And in this moment going forward, you can rewrite, you can redirect, okay? So they're also telling me basically what is being said is that, you know, light language, shuwa, ha, energy healing, when we're channeling, when we're bringing in information, we are rewriting the script, rewriting the code, okay? As divine beings, we have access to our, yes, our lineage, our blueprint, our code, okay? The code of life that has been inscripted upon us, but also codes of karma, you know, codes of um, trauma, codes of uh, limitations, okay? Um, we no longer have to live from the subconscious. We can now reprogram and recode, okay? And part of light language, receiving, speaking, uh, you know, channeling is doing that. You're rewriting your code and you are doing this multidimensionally. So you're doing this in your human self as you speak your truth and you face your fears. You're doing this beyond knowing. You're doing this from your galactic self. You are, you are, you know, beyond the fractal of just who you are now you're doing this in 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 your other other lifetimes that are happening right now so beyond the perception of the limitation of who you are right now so um let me see if any more is going to come in now seeing the shishi just a softer energy now softening out your energy sorry it's like butushurth and talking about the throat now, and 
u sukurian te theriant, u sukurian in theriant, u surundiare ma sheer, u kutsuar a machere, pitearan, but so tu ante kear. Mm, are you kutsu? Lea te siaha. Sit, you know, sit in the energy, sit in your throne, speak your truth. Be content with where you are. When you are content with where you are, you are centered. You are sitting in your throne, right? You're not outside wanting to be in someone else's throne or wanting to be in a better throne. You are centered in your energy. And when we're in a place of centered self, when we are centered in our energy and all the planets are rotating around us, this is when, yes, we are in alignment. Okay, and when we are alignment, we are not seeking sources outside of that alignment. We are attracting to us that which we would we, we would desire because we are in the center self. We are not one step ahead trying to be more than that which we are, or in the past trying to retrieve. You know, we are accepting. You know, in acceptance, in a place of empowered acceptance, when we are forward in our energy instead of behind. Okay. Show me at Seri, a cosurum mutater, a mosoriat, a carcusu, a ship a tosian but the carry, or a cutsiar, a set in shore maha, and just beautiful, graceful energy that's saying we are so grateful to connect. And as always, we remind you, you are the way, you are the way, you lead. So, any beings, galactic beings, angelic beings, you know. Any energy that you connect to, remember they are saying oftentimes it is mistaken that that power is outside of you that we need to worship or, you know, call upon. Yes, call upon, but call upon with the understanding that you are that. You are not separate from anything that you receive. You are that and you are just as powerful as any energy that you perceive outside of yourself. And also remember that that connection is within. So we go within to connect. We breathe in. And there are the masters. There is the God source. And as we remember our own God source and our own divinity, then it becomes clearer to connect because we are sitting in the energy of source. We are not outside of source trying to connect and claim that. No, we are that. And so when we say we are that, we we are in that energy already. And that is instant connection. And that is that is how we are meant to connect. I am that. Okay. So I know that was a lot of information, um, but but this is that this is what what is coming forward today. So blessings to you. Um, if you are interested in learning about light language, receiving light language, understanding you know how it empowers you, how it helps you connect, how it can relieve frustrations of self doubt, how I use it as a tool for transformation to really help people understand. What holds them back from that pure connection? Because when you receive light language, you're in the energy of oneness. And if we could all feel that, what a blessing that would be. Part of my, my mission and purpose is to help people reconnect to their light language. Today is April 7th. I will be offering my opening to light language class again um, Friday. So 7th, 8th, 9th, Friday, April 9th. It will be on Zoom, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, if you're interested in that, please uh, give me your email. I'll get you the Zoom link. I am also offering a course, a spiritual development course called Academy to Light. And I use light language as a transformational tool. You'll receive light language downloads to help you transform and awaken, change your DNA so you can rise into the full potential of who you are. So much blessings to you. Hopefully I'll be back soon on YouTube. You can catch me on Facebook. Find the link in my description. I love you all. And I'll see you live on Thursday with my show. Much love. Ah, blessings. Yes, much love. Bye.